have a cool thing to show you guys because I just tested it right now because it's so hard to find the daytime moon with the sea star. It's 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 hard like like looking for the sun. For some reason, it's easier to find the nighttime moon, the regular moon at night, but the daytime moon is hard. Okay, okay, let me know in the chat. Do you guys ever have a problem looking for the moon? I'm gonna put on my mic again. Looking for the moon during the daytime with the sea star. A lot of people say that all the time. Like it's almost just as hard as trying to get the sun or, or harder actually. Okay, get my mic back on. This is so cool. We have the moon live. If you're just joining, hit subscribe if this is your first time. If you like deep space streams, we've got the moon live on a telescope. And it looks like this because it's still daytime, guys. Let me prove it to you. Can you see behind my curtains here? You see how the sun is out? Can you guys see that? The sun is out. Okay, but the moon, <laughs> the sun is setting um, on the west, right? And the moon is on the east. How cool is that? Okay, let me close this. I won't get too much light here in the way. Okay, so this is what I want to say about finding the moon during the daytime. All you have to do is do the exact same thing that I have to explain to people over and over again when they're trying to look for the sun. Okay? I shouldn't lose my moon. I'm going to minimize. This is awesome, guys. So I'm going to minimize the moon right now because I want to show you guys, if you have this telescope, what you need to do. You know where it says your sky atlas at the bottom, right? You've got your sky atlas all the way at the bottom. You're going to click on your sky atlas and you're going to search objects. Obviously, you're going to put in moon. You're going to center it. Once it shows you this screen again, that it's trying, you know, once the, the blue telescope uh the le like the blue outline that's your telescope slewing to the moon once you get that like right when it's getting into the center you're gonna minimize it and you're gonna go to lunar okay click on go to moon now it's probably gonna try to look for it again even though it was just there there it is and you're gonna get it quick you're gonna get it quick i'm telling you so do that with the sun with your sea star and do that with your moon no matter what time of day it is but that's what that's what i recommend let me get the moon more centered the moon during the daytime this is awesome uh this is this is what i recommend for you to do a quick setup of getting your sun or moon in your sea star that's my, my three tricks. I've actually written this in other videos of people asking me in the description. One of my live streams, people have been asking me or telling me like they have a hard time. What do they do? So do that. Okay, those three steps. So like I said, you're going to go to your Sky Atlas. Write this down. Take a note of it. Or you can find it in one of my live streams. Someone commented and asked me and I threw it on there step by step look for the moon or the sun that way okay the three the three steps i'm like super excited right now letting you guys know because i've had so many questions about this and it works even with the moon so you go to your sky atlas click on your sky atlas under the search object you're going to click on you're going to search for moon you're going to click on center when your scope starts slewing, the blue rectangle starts slewing to the moon and you already know it's there, right? Through your sky atlas, you know it's getting right in there in the center. You minimize, you minimize your sky atlas and then you, on the home page of your Sea Star app, you press moon, right? You press moon and then the little pop-up comes up and it says go to. Don't go to the one that says observing skip and observe or something like that no just click on go to and then you it'll it'll find it really quick guys make sure that your c star is leveled your telescope is leveled to 0 0.2 0 0.3 you know even this is what i do all the time i always check the leveling once I've gone to an object because it'll go off level as you're especially if you're doing a huge change of objects like one from the east all over to the west or something like that west to east be and I tell you that right now because I had it on the sun 
and it's like I said, uh, the sun was on the west and it was all the way down, right? My sea star lens. And when I tried to slew it right now to the moon, it was like, and I checked the leveling, completely off. Like it was like, some people might say it doesn't mean anything. Like it was like at 0 0.7, 0 0.8. But to me, that's pretty significant <laughs> because it's, I think it's going to lose tracking very easily. I personally think that. Uh, so adjust it again, just adjust your leveling again and redo your find the moon thing. Okay. Or just make sure it's on 0 0.2, 0 0.3. The cool thing is that now you can manually move your lens up and down after we got the C-Star update from a month ago or two months ago, where you can actually prep, you know, on your homepage, you can manually move your lens. Very helpful. I always do that as soon as I start imaging or before I start imaging, as soon as I set up my scope, I will already move my, my manual lens. I'll start moving it and, and slewing it up to, to check my leveling, to make sure it's at 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 in order to make it easier once I'm going to go to a certain object. So I'll move my lens up as much as I can of my C-Star, right? Manually with the up and down arrows, right? I'll move it all the way up and then I'll adjust the leveling and then I'll start and then I'll pick my target. And once it finds a target, I still, like I said, go in and adjust your leveling because you'd be surprised it could go off by a bit. It could go off by a bit. If you're loving this, hit me with a like. Subscribe if this is your first time joining me or if, you're, if you've come back, uh, I've been, my uh, analytics of my YouTube tells me that like over 75% of my viewers are not even subscribed, 70 to 80% which is a lot of people that keep coming back and they haven't, they've never, they never subscribe. They just keep coming back to my videos and looking for me. You know, they're searching Astroom, but they're not subscribed. You're subscribed. It's easier because you can turn on notifications. You'll know when I go live, you'll know when I'm, you know, putting on new videos, when I have my new videos on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you subscribe guys. Uh, let's me, helps me to continue bringing you this content. Please make sure that you are following each one of these steps one by one. If you do not follow these steps, it is very possible that this will not work or it will be just harder for you to find the moon or the sun with your sea star. In addition, I want to bring attention to the new sea star update. The sea star continues to pull out more updates. So make sure that you have done your latest updates because one of the newest ones now includes a sun and tracking feature or a better sun and tracking feature for your sea star. So this will improve once you have the actual sun or moon in view, it will improve tracking. So super important. I have played around already with this feature. I must admit it has improved the tracking and the keeping it in center view of my C star in the field of view.